All right, the MLB schedule is out, and fingers crossed we'll get 60 games out of this shortened season. It might not be an ordinary baseball season, but we already have our eye on five matchups you can't miss. Opening night with the New York Yankees at the Washington Nationals on July 23rd. Yeah, opening day kicks off with the World Series champs taking on the World Series favorites. Garrett Cole, Max Scherzer, Aaron Judge, Juan Soto, play ball. Two series between the Los Angeles Dodgers and the Houston Astros, July 28th through 29th and September 12th through the 13th. You know, even without fans potentially in the stands, these clashes should be emotionally charged. The Dodgers get their first crack at revenge after learning Houston literally cheated their way to the 2017 World Series. Oh yeah, and in case you forgot, Mookie Betts is a Dodger now. Remember Mike Fires? He pitches for the A's now, but he was the whistleblower who called out the Astros cheating, so their meeting in August could be extra heated. Lucky for us, we could see the Astros and the A's settle their beef on the diamond. Let's hope Fires gets to start one of these games. The St. Louis Cardinals take it on the Chicago White Sox in Dyersville, Iowa on August 13th. Yes, the Field of Dreams game is still happening and we're here for it. Not to mention the Cardinals and White Sox should both be very good teams this year. The White Sox were AL Dark Horse darlings coming into the season. This will give them their national stage. And one of the biggest rivalries in sports, the Yankees at the Red Sox in Boston, September 18th through the 20th. You know, unlike the Dodgers, the Yankees won't get to take out their anger on the Astros this regular season, but why not channel that aggression into playing their arch rivals, who also have been questioned about some um, shady behavior. The Yankees are once again the evil empire, and the Red Sox are your underdogs, but also kind of villainous as well, like Darth Vader taking on the Emperor. Cue the Imperial March. It's a must-watch series.